I am so unbelievably juiced that this is the last video I will have on this channel that doesn't actually include Madden 22 footage. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my top five meta playbooks that I expect the community to gravitate towards in Madden 22. So let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> What's up guys, Dan from the Zaman YouTube channel. Obviously you guys know today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five meta playbooks that I think the community is going to gravitate towards heading into Madden 22. Now, before we get into the video, please do me a quick favor. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. A little bit of a disclaimer here in this video. I'm gonna be talking about the things that I think the community is going to gravitate towards, not necessarily the off meta things that can catch my eye. You guys know me as one of those uh, under the radar style players. Uh, I typically lab the fringe of the game and I use that fringe to kind of exploit what the meta defenses are. So I try to catch players off balance, make them uh, defend things they don't often see. Now, this video, we're gonna be talking strictly, you know, what are the best meta formations? What playbooks have the best setups for the meta formations? And what do I think we'll see the most of? So let's go ahead and get it started with our honorable mentions. For the honorable mention portion of my top five meta playbooks, we're going to be taking a look at the New Orleans Saints and the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, obviously, the Saints have been a popular playbook for quite a while. You guys know them as being kind of that I form close, gun tight, Taysom Hill package. But the thing that really stands out to me with the Saints offense this year, as well as the Chargers offense, is the addition of a brand new play into one of the most popular formations in the game. And that is the gun bunch. And they're going to add, yes, an inside zone. As if the bunch needed to be harder to defend, these two playbooks are the only two playbooks in Madden 22 that will have the inside zone in their bunch formation. Now, the saving grace with both of these playbooks is that their bunch isn't as high octane as some of the other bunches that we will be talking about in this video. So you won't have to worry about all the best passing plays, but probably going to have the best run in the bunch in the form of the inside zone. So the honorable mention goes to the Chargers and the Saints. Coming in at number five is the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens is a book that a lot of players ran as kind of a quarterback run gimmicky style of playbook last year. But the truth is that it's gonna crack top five as a meta formation because it is one of now only two playbooks remaining in all of Madden that have the play gun bunch clear out split end out this play is one of the best plays for flooding zone beating man it's caused problems for years in madden and now the ravens and the seahawks are the only two playbooks that have this play left so off of the power of that one play alone it's going to crack my top five now getting into the other stuff in the playbook we're also going to be talking about they have some awesome two back gun formations gun split close pro which is basically split close with the tight end in line hand in the dirt uh there's some split wing nasty which is kind of like a glorified quarterback run auto motion uh scheme and also the split twins so if you imagine the gun heisman which was basically three or four plays last year in the ravens book uh anthony wide over ea has expanded this formation to have a ton of unique passing concepts uh power option type plays, zone reads, and uh, a lot of unique routes that you won't find in other formations. So the Ravens come in at number five. Very, very excited about that book, and I think you'll see it quite a bit. Coming in at number four is going to be the Miami Dolphins. Now the Dolphins book for me is kind of a blend of doing a lot of things right, but nothing really at the top level. Um, I think that it's going to be a book that if you want to go kind of into your double stuff, you can. If you want to run a trips tight end formation, it's got a very, very solid trips tight end. But one thing that kind of stands out to me is that they actually have the bunch Y flex. Now, the bunch Y flex is a brand new formation in Madden 22. Uh, if you were to picture Trey Y flex, imagine that type of alignment. But the Trey side of the formation is a bunch formation. This is going to go really, really well because the Dolphins playbook has uh, a great trips tight end which you can audible into that bunch look and the tight end doesn't have to cross the formation 
like if you were going to go from say um you know bunch weak into bunch y flex uh the flow of that audible system is going to work really well for the dolphins and i think the scheme ability of all those three receiver one tight end uh one running back shotgun sets is going to make that a very very powerful book even though the bunch the trips tight end individually may not be the most potent in the game of madden 22. Coming in at number three is what I think is the best pure pocket passer shotgun playbook in all of Madden 22, and that is going to be the Detroit Lions. Yes, the Detroit Lions. This is weighted mostly off of the fact that it's the only playbook left in Madden 22 that has trips tight end X spot. This play was removed from several playbooks in Madden 21, but if you go back to last year's version of the game, you guys know that anybody who ran trips tight end at a high level had the play X spot in their arsenal due to the fact that that spot route was such a great check down route against zone because you could have the outside receiver on a hitch over the middle. This allowed you to use your other two slot receivers in motion, use them as flat attacking threats, use them as crossing threats. You basically didn't have to run those two inside players on hitches. So a lot of players that are looking to run trips tight end in Madden 22 are gonna gravitate towards Lions book simply because of that play. Now that's not all with the Lions. You take a look at some of the other, uh, you know, formations in this playbook, it's got a very adequate gun bunch. It's actually got two plays that are a little bit more rare. Bunch is a widely found formation in most playbooks, but the uh, the Lions have the play flanker drive and smash return, which are only found in nine and seven playbooks in uh, the gun bunch formation respectively. So those two plays are very, very solid plays um, that you'll be able to beat you know, zone coverages with uh, that you don't necessarily prepare for when you're looking at other playbooks. So uh, the fact that you could audible into the gun bunch and have those two plays at your arsenal is very, very nice. Now, they also have some pretty solid uh, double stuff as well. Uh, the play gun doubles X dig is a phenomenal beater of zone coverages because of the spot routes in the slot and the tight end. Also, that backside in is a big time route as it breaks across the formation at like 17, close to 20 yards on next gen so that's a great second intermediate level route and then of course they've got some pretty solid under center compression the single back tight doubles or the double south is another formation that's got uh jet sweep and it's also got some really unique routes off of play action that i think you guys will love so detroit lions coming in at number three now, before we get into our top two playbooks that I think will dominate the meta early in Madden 22, I wanna make sure you guys go and check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we take a look at the meta or the most effective tactics available that are being used by pro players on the MCS circuit. Breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website, as well as access to our Discord server. Now, if you guys are watching this the day at, that it is released, August the 10th, you guys can go ahead and hop into that Discord server if you're a member on the site. Go check it out. The link is available. I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys, and we will have live lab sessions once a week through at least the Super Bowl within that discord no not here on youtube not on my twitch channel specifically for the paying customers on gridiron for you guys to ask questions about vault content game plans or any other things that might be troubling you in madden so definitely go over to gridirongameplans.gg you guys can take advantage of our yearly pre-sale running up through august the 19th of getting the full year for just 75 dollars otherwise you guys can opt into a monthly $9.95 per month or yearly $99.95, which will still save you two months off of uh, the monthly plan for free. So go check it out, gridirongameplans.gg. Hopefully we'll see you guys over there on the website. Coming in at number two is going to be the best shotgun bunch playbook in all of Madden 22. This could truthfully be number one, just depends on whether or not you're a trips tight end guy or a bunch guy. But we're gonna be talking about the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Now, again, this is purely off the fact that it is a bunch playbook. You're gonna have the ability to audible from the bunch week into the bunch tight end. Uh, we all know that the Seattle playbook is popular every single year, but again, this is going to be especially so in a game with a user that is a little bit less rangy than current gen and what we've been used to over the last few years, a dominant play. 
playbook. Um, obviously, this has got all your popular plays such as tight end hook, uh, obviously your, your corner routes that you're looking for. It's got your bench pivot, your bunch trail. And that's the other playbook in the game that has that aforementioned clear out split end out that made the Ravens crack my top five, mostly off of that play alone. Now, while it doesn't have an inside zone like our honorable mention playbooks, the Chargers and the Saints, it does have a read option, which is an inside zone blocking scheme. So if you guys have a mobile quarterback in this playbook, you have the ability to break contain if they crash too hard on that running back. Basically, it does give you an inside zone variant to run out of this in addition to the base uh, and all the amazing plays that the, uh, the bunch formation has. So nothing new here, Seattle Seahawks staying in as one of the most popular playbooks coming in at number two. And that brings me to number one. Now, this is just me speculating. Again, I mentioned that if you are a bunch guy, the Seattle Seahawks might be in your number one. We're gonna go ahead and talk about a playbook that I think is going to be really, really problematic. And that is going to be the New England Patriots. Yes, the New England Patriots. We kind of knew this playbook was gonna be tough last year in Madden 21, but the Madden Live playbooks never came to fruition to get these updates into the game. Obviously with the Patriots adding Cam Newton in real life, we kind of expected that there might be some mobile quarterback packaging built into a pure pocket passers playbook, which would be really, really tough to defend if they ever got around to it. Well, that year is here in Madden 22. The trips tight end has all of your popular runs inside zone, base. It's even got a counter with the locomotion on defense and your user not being able to shoot every run the same way. That could be a problematic run, but now it has a quarterback power. And that trips tight end is pound for pound, probably number two in terms of the trips tight ends. The Lions, as I mentioned in our number three spot, uh, basically are the best trips tight end in the game. The Patriots book has a lot of those same plays, but lacks X spot, but then they gain that quarterback power, which gives you the ability to run the ball with your quarterback. And that is extremely, extremely valuable because a lot of players play coverage based defense against trips tight end because of how good a passing formation it is. You're going to catch guys dropping eight into coverage, being able to run with your quarterback and use the running back as a lead blocker is a huge advantage for you. Now, on top of that, we're also talking about they have an adequate bunch. It might not be Seattle quality bunch. It might not have the inside zone, but they've got good enough bunch plays. In fact, that was one of the best bunches in the game just a few years back and they had to nerf it to what it is now. It's still very, very adequate. You talk about the U trips or the Y off trips Pats formation or the Decroft formation as it's been known as over the last couple of years. It still has that. And now they add the heavy Patriot that, uh, you know, Panther heavy type of formation that we used to see uh, out of the Carolina book when Cam was a Panther is now here in the game as well. And you have the audible down potential of a formation like the pistol week that gives you a speed option or power option style runs and triple option style runs. There's a lot of gimmicks that you can audible down into or audible up into in this playbook on top of being a dominant pocket passers formation. Now with the addition of quarterback runs, for me, it's number one. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for my top five meta playbooks that I think will dominate Madden 22 at launch. If you guys like this video, please make sure that you drop a like on the video. Subscribe here to the YouTube channel. We're gonna be uploading Monday through Friday, uh, every single day during the week in Madden 22. I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys. Let me know what I missed. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that think that I missed some things in my top five or I glossed over some things that uh, needed some attention to. Let's get that conversation going below. Let me know what you think I screwed up on, what I hit on, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. That sounds good, doesn't it? Until tomorrow, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.